Hi, this is Nishan from thewayyouare.com. Today I will show you how you can connect your SQL server with your Visual Studio. Uh, let's suppose that uh, I am running SQL with server name administrate PC SQL Express with Windows authentication. I will show you that it is working. See, it is working. Now, let's come upon Visual Studio. I am using Ultimate version uh, about Microsoft. Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate version. So, go to New and a new project. Give any name and now I will create a button here which will show a message after a successful connection so let's take a button I will name it to SQL connect right and I will connect it with SQL okay there are two processes to connect with SQL first I am I am connecting with the tools so go to tools connect to database and put the server name here the server name in my case is same administrate PCs SQL Express so I copy it um, paste and I am since I am using Windows authentication so I do not need to put username or password if you are using a username or path if you are you not using Windows authentication <coughs> so you should choose this option so now as I drop down I will select the database uh, let's suppose I am using the way you are dot database and I will test the connection if it is working or not it is working okay so in server explorer it is showing how many database I have. I have administered PC that I just connected and what is the string to connect it? It is this. Let me. So I should copy it to create a connection here. So to use SQL here, I need to use namespace so using um, system dot sql no sorry data dot sql client now let's create connection with sql connection <coughs> con equal new sql connection and here i will paste that connecting stream here we have to do a little change uh, if you are using c sharp then you have to give two backslash if you are using visual basics then you need to give only one backslash so as I am using C sharp I should give two backslash and here goes the terminator now con dot open con dot open Con dot close and a message box which will show 
that SQL is connected is connected right let's run the program so as soon as I will click on the uh, this button if the SQL connection is successful it will show the message or otherwise it will go to debug it is connected let's do some change let's suppose it is not connecting then what error it will show mm, I am changing the server name like PCC now running see there is some error therefore it is not working not running properly I break on here notable thing is that if you don't know the user windows username means with which with which username you have logged into your windows so you can give only dot here and let's run it will auto take the username see so <laughs> let it as it is whatever it is um there is another thing if you are using if you are not using ultimate version or you are simply using uh, what I say C sharp only then then how how you will connect with SQL go to it, it is go to new project same give any name here project name now in the ultimate version I have their option to connect with database under tools menu but here you will not get it it is missing so we have to connect manually um, let's I do button SQL SQL connection I will give name space use name using strong dot data SQL client right now I will just copy paste these things this connection is string and copy it paste it this, everything is manually means you have to remember what should go here here if you are using a password protected SQL or not using windows authentication then there the connection string will be different it that connection string will be at at the end of the video I will show that later so I am copying same syntax here right if the connection succeed, succeeds success the message will show otherwise it will show error there is some error so stop it it is not running because there is PCC I have edited it so now run
connected thanks for watching and please subscribe to my youtube